Well, okay. Uh, again, the CD. This is Alter Ego. This is the band. This is the name of the band. Mm -hmm. You know, you call yourselves before Sunday's Child. Mm -hmm. What I brought uh, is just the solo sections of some songs. So it may seem a little funny to start the song with the solo, but I'm trying to get right to the right to the fun part, I guess, for the guitar player at least. So yeah, you know, it's like it's like listening to a Queenie McAlpine album. Mm -hmm. one's a blues song.
Okay. I'm back. You certainly have a unique sound there. Well, Did it thanks. take you a long time to develop a sound like that? Kind of like a trial and error, you know? Try it out with different setups until you got something that sounds good. You're talking about from the tone point of tone view. point of view. I don't know. I've always been into electronics and how it affected my sound. Um, I went through many, many different amplifiers, many, many different guitars before I settled on what I liked. I've had this guitar since 1978, and it's been my favorite since then. Um, well, that's Paul's standard. I, some, on, actually, I was going to use my Strat for some of these songs today, but when I got here, it was a bit broken in transit, so oh well. Um, mainly, mainly I, I played through Marshall amps, uh, the old style without the master volume, and just turning them up all the way. All knobs on 10 was, was a good setting for those amps. The um, spinal tap setting. Spinal tap setting. Mm -hmm. I definitely like the kind of distortion you get out of playing an amp turned up versus using any sort of distortion boxes or or a, you know effects unit type distortion. Um, the only distortion here is just created by having the amp turned up to the point where it does distort naturally. Mm -hmm. You definitely get a little more harmonics in your sound that way. It's not you know you don't get as much of a buzzy sound. It's more got more harmonics and the lead tone is more dynamic as well. Mm -hmm. I think the thing you notice when you use an amplifier to get your distortion is that when you play a little softer, you really hear the difference. And you really hear, you can really tell when you play a little bit softer, the sound gets cleaner. When you play, uh, play harder, it gets more distorted. I've noticed a lot of fuzz boxes, it doesn't matter how you play, the sound is basically the same. It's the same deal. I mean, if I got the preamp popped up, it's the same idea. It's just not very dynamic to the signal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's all a matter of personal taste. I mean, basically where you're coming from is how they did it, how the blues players did it, how Page controlled the sound. I think you go to a music store nowadays, and I think it's hard to find a good amplifier that sounds good. Well, Glenn, thank you very much for uh, coming down, and um, well, thanks it's a lot. been fun. Now, that's it for Rocksteady, and right now i got the second part of the Ken Fisher interview, so stay tuned and come back next month for another episode of Rocksteady. This is Nigel. I hope you enjoyed the show.